What a dooski, it's your boy Failwell, and today I'm here with my reaction to Riverdale Season 1, Episode 2, titled A Touch of Evil. The last episode, which is a premiere of Riverdale, was, was pretty good, honestly. Had a bit of everything. There was a lot of drama, it was very Tencent moments, pretty fast-paced, I would say. So we have Archie, who just came back from, you know, his construction job, whatever he was doing with his dad for the summer. He's all buff now. He's trying to be really into music. And then th th that has to do with his teacher that he also hooked up with, who's a music teacher. And that connects to Jason. There's a lot of things going on. Veronica's back in town. Betty was getting curved. And at the end of the episode, one of Betty's close friends, one he was going to go hook up with his dude, found the body of Jason. So... The town's probably tense, I'd imagine. That being said, I'm looking forward to start this episode of Riverdale. I'm interested to see where the series is going to go. It's, 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 this is nowhere close to what I remember the comics being like, so I'm guessing this is just completely, like, very, very loosely adapted from the comics. Anyway, that being said, let's just get right into it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, if you have social media, then be sure to follow me. Link's in the description down below. Also, I just launched my Patreon page, so if you're interested in getting these reactions early and some exclusive reactions along with some other rewards, such as a movie night once a month and a bunch of other things, it's patreon.com slash farewell34. If you're interested in checking that out, link's in the description down below. As well, I just launched my own Discord server, so y'all can come and hang out. Anyway. Let's get it started. Yeet. Okay, now we're getting more of Jughead. Is he ever number? He's messaging Betty. <laughs> the girl he just curved. Are you beg fam? Oh, I gotta love me some synth. Alright. Who's that? What? Why'd you put a shirt on? It's cold. But the police know that a gun was fired, that a boy was shot. We don't know by who. We know when it was fired. But the sociopathic son of the wealthiest family in town murdered? That's a national obsession waiting to happen. Dude. He's barely in his grave. Can you warm up the car, Hal? I'll be right down. There's no way it could be there. That's too obvious, right? No, Cheryl. No, Veronica. And no, Archie. She just said no, Archie. Want me to school? I needed time to process. I'd be lying if I said it didn't hurt. I'm sorry, Betty. I didn't do it. Damn, it relatable. Be... Then Archie's gonna end up falling with her, Tell and then mom, she's not about it. Again. And then she'll probably get with somebody else. I'm just too depressed and freaked out right now to do pull-ups. No joke about Jason Blossom. What? Sardonic humor is just my way of relating to the world. I'm just so edgy. Look, so rich kids from Watch Wednesday Adams. This guy said Wednesday Adams. That's actually funny. Dear Betty, please forgive me. XOXOV. Who the hell is V? Veronica. I am so, so sorry, Betty. I don't know what happened to me that night. It was such a basic bitch move. It, it was like it's I was a basic possessed bitch. by... Madam Satan? Most of you already know the details. But your classmate, Jason Blossom's body, was found late Saturday night. So as of the weekend, Jason's death is now being treated as a homicide. I, for one, have my suspicions. Hashtag Riverdale Strong. Who is man's? If you know anything, that's me or Principal Weatherby. A death like this wounds us all. Let's not let it. Archie. Weirdest thing. This summer we were supposed to go on a road trip. Over July 4th weekend. Which you bailed on at the last minute. Uh huh. Is there something you want to tell me, pal? Is there something you want to tell me, pal? <laughs> if I can do anything now. That's sweet, Archie. Couldn't unless you were at Sweetwater River and now you shot Jason. Well, you know, actually. What sticks out to you? Probably with the veins, signs of scavenger activity. 
They get your marks on both wrists and a hint of cryonecrotic preservation. Small bills, right? So. Anyway, it's terrible to say, but part of me wishes he would just stay in the darn closet. Obviously, I didn't mean literal closet. Archie! Oh, fuck, I'm slow. That's... Very forgiving. That's awkward. I'm still working on the lyrics, so... She's gonna be like, it's shit. Ah, uh, see, now she's triggered about dances, too. Oh, my God, I'm with you there, Betty. Damn. Damn. Hashtag relatable. That's what the nice girl always says, but... I want to be, I thought I could be, but it's too much, too fast. <laughs> Betty. Betty, wait. <laughs> I wish she had like an outburst, like, yo, bun yo ho ass, redhead ass, like. Come on, listen to me. No, I can't give you the answer you want. That's what you said to me, and that's how I feel right now. I'm sorry. Betty. Betty. Sir Andrews. If we could have a word in private. Oh no. You're in a very good place right now, Lou. If there's something you want to get off your chest, perhaps about Jason. Well, this is convenient for the plot. Whether be just ask me if I Is she always playing that thing? Is this how you feel about me? Is it real? Because if it's not, then I don't know what I'm protecting. That was so anime, the... It's not right. We will never see each other again. Doc, if someone walks in... I'm putting myself in your hands. Jughead, walk in there, bro! My boy's an investigative journalist. Yeah, Veronica's a baddie still. Pretending she's a butterfly when she's really a wasp. Yo, sneak this. The only reason I went into that closet with Archie was so that Cheryl wouldn't. Oh, so you did it to protect me. Damn straight. Okay, so nothing happened between you and Archie in the closet then. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know, Archie and I were fine before you got here. If I fine? When he was oblivious and you were pining after him in quiet desperation. We were friends, at least. You were walking on emotional eggshells around him, scared to tell okay, me the truth. You don't know me, Veronica. It is not my fault he doesn't like you. Spicy. Spicy. <laughs> Ladies, am I interrupting? Oh my no, god, she is just so Actually, annoying. I was about to come find you, Cheryl. I have a gift certificate for hers and hers, Manny Petty's and Blots at Chase Salon. Do you want to come with me? Don't do this. Butt out, closet monster. You have forfeited your right to take the high and mighty road. She's working at Pops now. Huh. Oh, your friend's son. Yep, your ex's son. They're as handsome as your father was. I'm back to no texting. What about you? So I'm back to being the shallow, toxic, rich bitch who ruins everything in her path. Your room's so sweet. In a way, it's kind of like we both lost the place. Oh, damn, that's fucked. How, uh, how is Polly? I'm not sure. What do you think went down between them? I don't know. What do your parents say? Oh, about she's Jason investigating. I keep thinking that maybe Jason said something to her, or she said something to him. I mean, didn't they have a big fight this summer, or... Why are you asking me so many questions about Polly? Cheryl. Because you dumb cow. Someone shot my brother, and I think it was your crazy, tweaked-out sister. Well, then. <sighs> Tell her to get the hell out of my room, B. The hell? Out of my house. Facts. Not in Cheryl, get you. the hell out of my house before I kill you. Okay. I'm trying to be your friend here, even though we're not anymore. How long? You and Grundy. Don't say summer. It's the summer. Uh. 
I like her. So I'm guessing she's the reason you've been acting weird since summer? One of them. One of them? There's more? We were at Sweetwater River on July 4th. Archie boy. We heard a gunshot. The gunshot. Dude, you have to tell somebody. I can't. Neither can you. If people find out about Grundy. A kid is dead, Archie. And you're worried about some, some cougar. Don't call her that. Okay, she's not like that. She cares about me. Stab in the dark? I'm guessing she cares more about herself. She's the one who's telling you not to say anything, right? Yeah, exactly. Look, I saw you guys. She's messing with you, man. And she's messing with your mind. How the hell do you know about it, Jughead? This show is so damn dramatic, man. Uh, I like it. <laughs> How many times are you going to let them hurt you? Until I learn my lesson, Mom. Sometimes it's hard to admit things to yourself. Okay. My mother's crazy. Now, let's be honest. Isn't it always some spooky, scrawny, pathetic guy who's too busy writing his manifestos to get laid? <laughs> some smug, moody, serial killer fanboy freak. Like Jughead. <laughs> what was it like, Suicide Squad? Nothing, just leave him alone. Holy crap. You both did. Did you and Donnie Darko kill him together? <laughs> was it some sort of pervy blood brother thing? <laughs> they broke the glass? I think we should do something. And it's the right thing, Dad. But the girl says that if we do, or if I do this thing, it'll ruin what we have. It'll ruin her life, be her career. That doesn't make any sense, does it? I swear this guy's always wearing a flannel shirt or something. This show has, like, no sense of time. Or at least I don't get it. I, I don't get a good grasp of it, like... That's a nice jacket. Oh, I also never had like a... Actually, no, we did have a football team. It was like a flag football. I didn't make that tryout. I just remembered. Hmm. But what is she gonna do? That's what I wanna know. We're not gonna hug in front of this whole town. So why don't we both just do that bro thing where we nod like douches and mutually suppress our emotions? Yeah, but as friends, right? To be discussed. You know what? We are friends again. They obviously couldn't have the. Oh, oh my god, Arch. Where are you? 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 Gotta be some big revelation. Go. One double chocolate and one old fashioned vanilla. Thank you. Well, that's convenient. Yes. Aren't they all like a group? But only if you're treating. <laughs> oh, so they're, gonna, morning of they're gonna end up on. Oh, never mind. I thought, I thought they're gonna end up there happy, but. Is she already in there? No, they're here for Jughead. We don't need to do this in front of your classmates, sure. It's the right place for the weather be. I'll find out soon enough. No, that won't be necessary. Wait, Cheryl? Find out what? That I'm guilty. As shocking what? as those three words were, they were nothing compared to the secrets that Jason's body had given up during its autopsy. That Jason didn't die over a week later. A week later? He, so she said he was supposed to come back. You are caught up in a murder investigation. Oh. That's a promo for the next episode. You guys know me. 
I don't really watch promos. And that was Riverdale Season 1, Episode 2, A Town of Evil or something, I think. I thought that was another consistent episode similar to the last. I enjoyed it. I don't know, this show's just got a bunch of twists and turns, and while I do think, you know, sometimes the writing or the acting or pacing the episode is very different, I actually kind of enjoy it. It's very different for me personally, and a lot, there's a lot of twists and turns, and it's very over the top. I guess the teacher scandal is going to be saved for a little bit later on. Jason's sister. I don't think she is 100% guilty. I think there's definitely more to the story, but him not being dead immediately on the 4th and just getting shot in, in the forehead, that's really interesting. So I don't I don't know how they're going to go about that. I don't know what how this is going to go. That's it for my reaction to Riverdale Episode 2. What did you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, I just want to give a shout out to all the Patreons for checking this video out early. Again, if you'd like to join, then check the link in the description down below for my Patreon page. And if you can't wait for the next upload for the Riverdale reaction or any of the other ones be sure to check out the patreon page and you can you can get an episode ahead as always don't forget to check out my social media stuff links in the description down below and my discord that's it for me I'll see y'all next time peace